Here in the desert is nothing to mess with. Our extreme temperatures coincide with a, when they do coincide with a power outage, well, that can turn deadly. First Lord Chief Meteorologist Haley Clausen is live tonight at Indio High School ahead of tonight's football game there, looking into how power outages can relate to hotter temperatures. The latest Climate Central report assessed heat season power outages from 2000 to 2023, and some of that data may surprise you. First, let's establish when the heat season is. That's May through September, or when heat risk is high and cooling demand is elevated. Heat season outages accounted for nearly half of all weather-related outages during the analyzed period. I do want to point out that this study focuses on major outages that affect at least 50,000 customers or interrupt service of 300 megawatts or more. With that consideration, a 60% increase in heat season power outages during the last 10 years was noted compared to the first decade. Broken down regionally, the South leads the way, followed by the Southeast. The West falls farther down the list with 48 total heat season power outages. California specifically had 44 of those outages during the time frame. Most outages Southern California experiences don't fall in this major category. So the typical customer experiences a power outage less than once a year, and outages normally last less than two hours on average. In 2023, equipment failure led outage causes for Palm Springs by more than 71% over weather. It's understood that new infrastructure is required and, quote, the cost to invest now is far less than the cost of inaction and will help hedge against the uncertainty society faces in the future, end quote. So climate change and other factors are driving unprecedented heat. Uh, we just experienced the hottest July on record. Uh, we know this is a concern and we continue to prepare for it. Um, Southern California Edison will improve the reliability of the grid to meet customers' needs today and in the future as our load grows, along with our ability to shape it with flexibility and efficiency as we meet California's clean energy goals by 2045. If you should find yourself in an outage during these hot summer months, remember there are cooling centers open across the Coachella Valley, and you can find a map of them at KESQ.com. Live in Indio, Haley Clausen, News Channel 3. Okay.